What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. Before I get started on the video, just want to let everybody know I will be live tonight with Bad Dog for Talking Giants, probably at 10. I know he told me 9.45. I got a movie I'm going to, so I don't know what time I'm going to be out. So probably 10. I'm going to tell him to push it back to, but we'll be live on his channel tonight to talk about the Giants, talk about our upcoming matchup against the Philadelphia Eagles. But in this video, I want to talk about a article that came out today that was a big buzz all around Giants Twitter today, um, really displaying the inefficiencies with this New York Giants organization top to bottom. Obviously, it was highlighted on Dave Gettleman and a lot of the bad things that he's done, and we could talk about it. Obviously, you guys have seen the article if you're on Twitter, um, and I'll pull up the guy who wrote it, and, and you guys can take a look at it. NYG Daily was kind enough to post some of the things that you're not able to see unless you pay for the article that really talked about the horrible, horrible uh, organization that is the New York Giants since Dave Gettleman has been the general manager for this football team, and quite frankly, long before he was which is why he got the job to begin with. And it, it really, to me, what it highlighted is what I already knew. What the biggest problem with this football team has been since I've been watching this team um, since our last Super Bowl, and that, of course, is John Mara. Um, and, and basically hiring a yes man to do what he thought needed to be done and not hiring the best candidate possible. Which is why I'm going to continue to hammer this point home. And whether or not I have any kind of influence, I probably don't. At the end of the day, I'm a Giants fan like anybody else. But if I could use my platform to try to influence what I think is the right change for this football team, I'm going to do it. And since I've been on YouTube, I think I've been as fair as I possibly can in terms of driving home the message of being patient and trying to let things play out. I'm done with being patient and trying to let things play out. If you haven't gotten that gist for everybody that criticizes me for being too positive over my last, I don't know, eight, nine, ten videos, <laughs> when I've said that Daniel Jones is not a franchise quarterback, when I've said that it's time to move on from Joe Judge, when I've said that it's time to move on from Dave Gettleman and that he's been an abysmal failure, well, here it is. I'm putting it all into one video, okay? Because you still get people on Twitter that criticize me for being, I guess, way too optimistic with this football team. And I'll be the first to say I'm a guy that tries to be glass half full. Always, when there's a situation, I try to be glass half full. I try to be optimistic. It's run its course. It's time for a change. And I'm not just talking about with the general manager for the New York Giants. It's time for a complete change. And I'm a guy that when Joe Judge took the job, I said he needs to get four or five years. And I know there's still a lot of fans out there that believe that. Um, and I'm not even blaming this all on Joe Judge. Joe Judge was dealt a really crappy hand. Just like Daniel Jones was, right? We make up a lot of excuses as a fan base, rightfully so, that Daniel Jones was uh, set up to fail. Offensive line, didn't have weapons up until this year. There's been a ton of injuries on the football team that could be used both as an excuse for both Joe Judge and Daniel Jones. Life in the NFL is not always fair. To me, it's about doing the right thing. And doing the right thing for a team that's been inept as the New York Giants are is bring in the best general manager possible for this football team. What I fear is John Mara is going to continue to do the things that he's done that are stated in this article in the past. And that is bring in a yes man. And if John Mara does that, I fear as a fan and as a content creator of the New York Giants that things are not going to get better anytime soon. And I hope, you know, obviously if they go this route, I'm going to hope that obviously I'm wrong and Joe Judge progresses as a head coach and the general manager they bring in does great things. And... It doesn't mean that they can't move on from Joe Judge the following year, right? The Jets did it with Joe G Douglas. I think he came in due, at least partially, to the fact that I think he had ties with Adam Gaze. They moved on from Gaze the next year. But I don't want to limit my hiring candidates to bring in the best general manager possible to fit around Joe Judge. And you're not going to get to... Why? You know, I look at it like this. You know, when I, if you, you know, if you go on a dating app, why would you want to close off half the candidates... Um, that you could potentially get to meet, and maybe that that's your match made in heaven. It's the same thing here in this situation. Why would the Giants close off, you know, any potential candidate to be uh, able to bring in here and bring in the best qualified general manager possible that is willing to take this job? Because I fully recognize that you're probably not going to be able to get the pick of the litter based off the circumstance that the New York Giants currently have. But if you force Joe Judge and that GM, it is going to even limit them even further. And you're going to be looking at guys like Kevin Abrams, who would be a complete disaster. Guys like Kyle O'Brien, who's been a part of this regime this year, was, you know, a big reason why we brought in Kenny Galladay to begin with due to his ties with the Detroit Lions. For me, I want an outsider. I want somebody with no ties to John Mara. We've done this long enough with John Mara, and, and it has not worked. It's time to do what your father did and bring somebody in here like George Young that could really start to spice this up. 
That's my take on this football team at this point in time. I'm not telling you I think that's what's going to happen. I, as a matter of fact, I don't think it's what's going to happen. And we're going to get into exactly why I feel the way that I do. First thing I wanted to pull up was Tyler Dunn, a guy obviously I've never heard of. Like I said, this is all over Giants Twitter today. It's a big buzz, and you can look at it if you're on Twitter. A lot of the other things that people are talking about, but I really wanted to hammer home one thing in this video and what I think is the biggest problem with this football team. But this is Tyler Dunn. He's the founder of The Go Long, a newsletter dedicated to enterprising pro football journalism. He's got over 40,000 followers on Twitter, so go over there and check him out. This was his tweet, and then I'm going to pull up something that MYG Daily tweeted. How did everything get so bad so fast for the New York Giants? I chatted with those who've been around the lame duck GM these last four years. The problems cut deep. Part one of our series is live at Go Long, exclusive to subscribers. And in this article, Tyler interviewed a lot of former scouts with the New York Giants, who I think remain nameless throughout the article, but guys that had ties to Dave Gettleman, and they talked about how he was dismissive and how, I think in one part of the article, Russell Okun was going to sign with the Giants and due to Dave Gettleman uh, elected not to become a New York Giant. And you can believe what you want in the article. Maybe not all of it is true. Maybe a lot of this is former scouts running Dave Gettleman's name in the mud due, due, due to the fact that they didn't get along with him. But this part of the article is something that I've said on YouTube since I've been on it. And this was tweeted out by MYG Daily. This was part of the article that the public could not see. I guess you have to be a paid, uh, you know, a paid member of his channel to be able to get the full article. But this was part of it. And I'm just going to read the blue highlighted part. One source even recalls Gettleman being stunned he got the job. Gettleman promised to keep Eli Manning as his starting quarterback in 2018 per one source. So he got the job. And in that sentence, if you read above, it talked about how they barely brought anybody in. They brought in Mark Ross, they brought in Kevin Abrams, who was in in-house, and they brought in Lewis Riddick. And basically, the way that I read that, and it confirms what I've thought about it from the start, the only reason that Dave Gettleman got this job is that he was essentially willing to be a yes man for John Mara. He, he got this job because he was willing not to do what was the obvious thing at that point in time when the New York Giants had as many problems as they did, and it was going to take a miracle for this team to be able to win a championship to begin with. Dave Gettleman knew to get this job, he had to be willing to go forward with Eli Manning and more than likely had to take the player at number two that could best give Eli Manning an opportunity to win a Super Bowl in 2018. And that was Saquon Barkley. He was the guy that could potentially have the most immediate impact. But at that point in time, it made no sense to swing for the fences. And I think New York Giants fans that may have not thought that at that point in time have come around to the fact that it made no sense. And it goes back to John Mara and it goes back to him doing things that he should not be doing. Dave Gettleman, you know, for everybody that complains about Dave Gettleman, Dave Gettleman is a huge problem with this team. Dave Gettleman has been an abysmal failure. But Dave Gettleman would have never gotten this job to begin with had it not been for John Mara. Had it not been for John Mara forcing this agenda. Dave Gettleman was probably not the most qualified guy to begin with. He was not the out-of-the-box thinker, right? And the only reason he got this job was due to the fact that he was willing to push forward with Eli Manning. Whether or not that was forced on Mara or whether or not that was Dave Gettleman's plan, I fully believe, like it says in this article, that the only reason he got the job was because he was willing to do that. And that is what John Mara was looking for. He was looking for a yes man. And that's my honest belief on our owner. And he can't now do this going forward with Joe Judge. Now, if you bring in an outside GM and he feels that Joe Judge is the best coach possible, that he wants to run this football team, go and do it. But they cannot continue to run these tires in the mud and try to fix something that can't be fixed. It's time to start from scratch. You look at what they've done since Dave Gettleman's been here. There are no long-term pieces on this football team outside of maybe three or four. You've completely failed your quarterback. You have not done what you set out to do, which was fix the offensive line. You have one long-term piece on the team, and that's Andrew Thomas. And if Joe Judge is going to prevent me from bringing in the best possible GM, he's got to go. Period. End of story. That's my take on it. I'm a guy that wants to root for Joe Judge, and I'm a guy that is fully saying that Joe Judge has not been given the best opportunity to, to be the best head coach he could be in the NFL, just like Daniel Jones has not. 
been given the opportunity to be the best possible quarterback that he could be in the NFL because of how much this organization has failed them. And that goes to Dave Gettleman, but more importantly, it goes to John Mara because without John Mara, Dave Gettleman doesn't have this job to begin with because any general manager that would have had free reign, that had a clear head on their shoulders, would have looked at a 37-year-old quarterback, they would have looked at the state of the New York Giants organization, that they were picking second overall and would have known that it were not in the place to compete to win a Super Bowl. And that's my take on it. And the Giants have to blow this up. I fear that they won't. And I fear, as a content creator, that we're going to continue to do this time and time again, and I am done with the patient approach. We need a fresh mind. We need to blow it up like we did in 2018. The problem is when you blew it up in 2018, you brought in a guy that did what you wanted to do, which was not the right thing to do. You blew it up, but you basically tried to push forward with the problem that you already had in place. 2019, John Mara, Dave Gunman finally came around, but it was too late by then, and they compounded their mistakes. And this year, they tried to accelerate the, pros uh, the process by spending heavily in free agency, and it's been a massive, massive failure. A lot of it due to bad luck. I'll be the first to say it. Try to be as fair as I can. There's certainly been a ton of injuries with this team. Two of our five starting offensive linemen got hurt before the year started. I recognize that. Um, you know, Kenny Galladay's been hurt all year, but you knew he had an injury history coming in. Kadarius Tony's been hurt all year. There has definitely been a ton of injuries to this football team, but it don't matter. The results are not happening, and it's now year four into this regime. I know Judge has only been here for two years, but we cannot push forward with Joe Judge if it's going to limit us from bringing in the best GM possible. Now, am I going to flip out if they keep Joe Judge? No, but I am going to state my opinion and think it's more of the same. It's more of Joe Judge, uh, not Joe Judge, rather, uh, John Mara having too much say with this organization and trying to fit things around certain pieces when they shouldn't be fit. He's got to do what his father did. And he's got to bring in his next George Young, and he's got to build this team the right way. As a Giants fan, I fear that won't be the case. And I know I've made videos like this in the past, but I felt like I, with three weeks to go, I wanted to get this message out there and be as clear as I possibly can. The New York Giants need massive changes. And keeping Joe Judge is going to prevent them from doing that in the best way possible. At least that's my opinion on the matter. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe. Drop a comment. Maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.